Apple's worst kept secret of the past couple years have been these, AirTags. We knew about them back in 2019. We knew what they were called. We knew what they were gonna do. We knew basically everything about them except for when were they going to come out. Apple finally released them this past week. I got them on Friday and I've had them for a few days and wanted to cover a few things that I haven't seen really covered super well in other videos and answer a couple questions you guys had for me on Twitter. Hi everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt. And the first thing I have to get out of the way is just how these little things are quintessential Apple products. They are easy to set up. They perform their function really reliably, really well. And they're using a lot of advanced technology to do something that looks really simple. And that leads us into the first thing. These things are so tiny. I know that everybody has said this and you can see comparisons to other things, other similar trackers on the market, but like, they're so, so small that you can really do anything with them. You can drop them in a bag, you can drop them in a small purse. It's not gonna take up any space at all. You're probably not even going to be able to find it if you wanted <laughs> inside that little bag. But yeah, they're, they seem really great. If you wanna glue them to something, you could totally glue them. They weigh almost nothing. So you could glue them to like your bike or something like that. You could tape them. You could just like wrap some duct tape around it even if you wanted. Uh, if you are gonna glue it to something permanently, uh, make sure you glue the white side because the silver side is what pries off if you want to replace the battery. Uh, they're supposed to last about a year on a single charge uh, and then you need to replace it. So make sure you go ahead and do that. Uh, just, yeah, glue the white side so you can pry this off. And then a CR2032, simple coin cell battery you can buy from basically anywhere. Uh, we'll be able to charge them up for another year. So that's really cool. Yeah, the size is just fantastic. It is worth noting that one of the reasons they're so small is there's no hook on it. There's no loop. There's no way to attach it to something like a keychain or a bag on its own. You have to get an accessory to do that. The accessories are kind of expensive. They're pretty simple. I got Apple's leather one and it was 35 bucks just for the keychain attachment. So all in, I was 65 bucks in to track my keys, which okay, I guess if I lose them, that'll be money well spent, but I've never lost them before. Doesn't matter, the whole point of these are kind of insurance on if you do lose it. So yeah, I would say keep that $30 uh, price point with a grain of salt because you're probably gonna have to buy an accessory and that's gonna drive the price up a little bit. But yeah, uh, as I said, they're quintessentially Apple. They do the job really well. So if you're looking for something like this and you are deep in the Apple ecosystem, you're gonna have an iPhone for a long time, you're gonna use the Find My Network for uh, years to come, then they're a pretty good investment, I think. So you've probably seen how you track down an item with a newer iPhone. This is the iPhone 11 and newer. If you have one of those, it has a U1 ultra wideband chip and works great. It has this really cool UI for showing you exactly where the item is and walks you straight to it if you're within 30 feet of it. Super cool, super awesome. But a lot of people have older phones. This is an iPhone SE from years ago, and it does not have an ultra wideband chip, doesn't have the U1 chip, and so it doesn't have that. So how does it work here? So this is much more simple, but it is kind of similar to what Find My has always done before. If the uh, Find My Network has found your item and has a GPS location, it'll show up in the app on your older iPhone with a GPS location, and that's really it. And if it's away from you, that'll help you find it. Uh, but if it's in the house and you're just trying to like find where are my keys in the house, <laughs> it's not gonna help you with that. The best it does is it does let you play a sound, so you can play a sound on the AirTag, it'll play a little beep, little ditty, and then you can find it that way. But it won't take you to exactly where it is. There's no option to do like the find it and like have an interface that kind of directs you to it doesn't do any of that. And that's fine, totally makes sense. Uh, but yeah, you're not gonna get quite all of the whiz bang features on older devices. Now, what if you're an Android user? Should you look at AirTags as kind of a way to track your items as well? Maybe it's kind of like an iPod where it's a nice in to the Apple ecosystem. No, just like the Apple Watch, these are only for iPhone users. It will only work uh, with Apple devices. So if you're looking for keeping track of things and you are an Android user, look for something else. Uh, the AirTags will not work for you but more than half the world is using Android. And so if you lose an item, there's a pretty good chance someone with an Android device will be the one who finds it. So what happens then? Uh, you've probably seen this as well. You've probably seen people scan it or tap it with NFC. It takes you to a website that says, hey, this belongs to this person. Here's their phone number to contact them and get it back to them. And that's great. It is worth noting that if you don't mark your item as lost, if the AirTag is not marked as lost and someone finds it, some Android user gets it and they put it up to their phone, they go to the website, it doesn't show them the contact information. So for example, if someone steals your AirTag and you don't want them to have your info, like let's say you know who it is or like you just don't want a stranger to see that, don't mark it as lost. And then when they tap it to their phone, they won't be able to see your name. They won't be able to see your phone number. They won't get any information about you. All it'll say is, hey, this AirTag belongs to somebody, 
but that's all we're gonna say. So it doesn't start to show your contact info unless you mark it as lost. So yeah, those are air tags. This is probably the first and last video that I'm gonna make about these. I think that they're a very simple product built to do a specific thing that you'll almost never do. And I think they do it really well. Uh, like I said, they're using some really advanced technology, some really cool stuff that's using the massive network of Apple devices out there to help you find your things when you lose them. And that's great. But that's really it. That's the end of the story. So hopefully you learned a little bit in this video about some of the interesting use cases with Android, with older iPhones. Hopefully that was helpful. If you did enjoy it, if you found anything useful in here, hit the like button below. That really helps the channel grow and get people to see the videos uh, that I'm posting. If you want to see more of these, hit the subscribe button and I will see you here next time. Bye-bye.